Hi, I'm Doug Wallman. I am here to do an instructional video on how to replace the pump on your nebulizing diffuser. Now there is one caveat. I did already take this apart. That's unfortunate. I wasn't planning on doing a video originally, but when I discovered what the problem was, I thought, oh, in hindsight, you know, right, it would be nice to do a video on this. Well, I think I can actually do a, a sufficient job to uh, describe what I did to take it apart briefly and it's probably more for someone who is comfortable with electronics although you I mean you could do it um, so let's just get on to the next video scene where I'll provide a different angle of view uh, with the camera and we can begin that next all right so uh, this is the pump I took it apart Unfortunately, unless I can get my focus where it needs to be on it. What happened is I took it apart. It hadn't been working too great, but it worked a little bit. So I took it apart and I I destroyed this diaphragm here. And that is, uh, now it totally won't work. I never bothered putting it back together to see uh, how it would work now. But with this all torn... Uh, it will not work. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to monitor my video a little bit. Well, whether you can see it or not, trust me, the diaphragm, this, I don't know if this is like a gasket sort of rubberish material in there, silicone or something like that, probably rubber. Yeah, I tore it. So for sure it won't work now. But regardless, there was no mist there was no mist coming out from this, so there's the pump. It was wrapped in this uh, foam, kind of like that. Of course, that was on there. So I thought of just replacing... Okay, first of all, before I get too far ahead of myself... Uh, this is the new pump I just received in the mail today from Amazon. Or I'll try to include the link in the description box to where I got this. Um, there is a lot of them out there, actually, from what I observed. So I thought of just replacing this part only. But you know what? This part only. I think what I'm going to do is just replace the whole thing. You know, that's probably the wise thing to do. I noticed one difference is this has an intake and an outtake, whereas... This one, well, I know it has probably both somewhere, but it's not visible like that one on the side. So I hope it's okay. I think it will be fine. It'll just be sticking out kind of weird. But with no further ado, um, yeah, I don't know if I can increase my Unlock my camera lens here and get in a little closer. There we go. Okay, so let's try to uh, see if I can get in a little closer there. Adjust the angle here if I need to. Well, it looks like that's going to maintain. The lens doesn't seem to be creeping down, so we might be okay. So well, that's what we're dealing with. All right. All right, so we got some tip cleaner. Got my sponge wet. Do I need to get even closer so you can see what I'm doing? That's about as close as I'm going to get without reframing everything. Like taking my camera lower than it already is. So no thank you. So you see there's a red dot there. Oh, there's a blue wire going to that. Uh, most of the time we used to see a red wire in cases like this. But it doesn't really matter. Just know that a red dot will go to the, the uh, blue wire in this case. So I'm going to start with this white wire. See if I can get that bad boy off of there. There we go. I'm going to add a little solder just to help me get 
Get the blue wire off. There we go. And we're going to place them off to the side. And now we're going to solder on the blue wire. This one, well, I'm not going to take it apart. There's a, this, what I'll take. It's going to make it difficult to stand up like I did on the previous one, but it's not a big deal. I don't need the hand helper thing or the alligator clip tree or whatever that is. I can do it. Yeah, I'm just going to tip or tin this here a little bit. It would actually be nice to have a tool to hold this for me. I just lean it up against there. It's not a big deal. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not a big deal at all. I think it's just easier to use my hands, honestly. I'd like it to go through that hole. There we go. All done. I could probably increase the ISO on this. Or turn up my light, one of the two. You see? I thought I could turn up the ISO. Oh, yeah, I can turn up the ISO, all right. Jeez. Probably a little too much. Maybe about right there. So there's a blue wire on there. And here's the, uh, we'll just put him in there. I don't know if I want it, probably wouldn't matter, but I don't know if I want the wire just right up against the body like that. It wouldn't matter though. It wouldn't matter. I might bend this back up. This little tab. Can't see what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, well, I just want that wire to not be touching. It doesn't matter because it, I think it's basically the ground anyway, or something like that. I don't know what it is. It's the negative, I do believe. Yeah. That should be plenty good. I'm going to try not to melt insulation and all that, but yeah, that's good. I don't know if I need to get the better shot of that. There's my soldering job. Doesn't really want to focus that great from that distance, or maybe I just have the ISO too high. Something like that. There it is. All right. So this was just resting down here, I think. I think this I'm just gonna, well, I can't wrap it yet, right? I have to actually, <laughs> getting ahead of myself, plus you're not even in the frame, come on. Turn up the ISO again. So we can turn off the soldering iron. We're done with that. Get that out of the way. Okay. So I almost started putting it back together. I don't think I can just pull on this. It's glued in there. So I'm going to have to snip it. Going to have to snip it. A nice straight snip is best. I don't know if I need to turn up the ISO again. Again, just a little bit. Oh, it looked like it was ready to slip off of there. Now that I cut it. Oh, well. Um, so we'll just... Okay, I bought some super glue just for this. At the dollar store or someplace like that. Family dollar or something. So, 
I don't know what you could use. An end of a paper clip maybe to kind of dab it. Or here I have, you know, Q-tip or something. Actually, I think this wouldn't be too bad, this uh, dental floss. Oh, shoot. It just came right out of there. That's not good. Well, it'll dry. Tell you what. We don't want that on the end. That would be no good. So feel, make sure it's not on the end. That's a little too much, I think. There we go. Doesn't need that much. Make sure it's not on the end. I just slid the, I'm going to call it a hose or tube. Slid the tube in there, let it dry for like 10 seconds, maybe 15 or so. Give it some time. So I never really talked about this yet, but this is basically held together by four screws on the base or the back plate. Well, there's the four screws. You know, like there, 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 and there, I believe is where they are. This is the back plate. So when I put it together, let's go in there, line up the screw holes with the screws. Now, when I took it apart, I did add a screw. I, I screwed in the larger screw so I could pull and kind of release it from the grip that it had on the back plate there. Uh, it's kind of tight in there, so I did need to screw in a bigger screw and then pull on it like I said before in case you didn't catch what I was trying to say and of course you have to peel up a little bit on this rubber to find the screws I went a little overboard on this edge here and most people would probably screw into one of the screw holes but I didn't want to do that so anyway this is uh, that should have had plenty of time to dry so I'm going to insert this back in here. Looks like my soldering job is holding up okay. <laughs> this is the old tape. It's, I'm going to put some new tape on here. Wrap it up all nice. And that's to provide some isolation. The pump from the other parts or the base something like that <laughs> God, I better do a little better than that right I want it to actually hold in place wow Doug so yes I did try you know taping the foam wrapping the uh, motor the pump uh, with the tape like that and then when I packaged it back together it was kind of a little extra noisy I thought uh, and I made a video but I'm not going to upload that portion of it because it's kind of a waste of time I'm going to show you the next portion where I'm taking it apart because I didn't like how it sounded it's kind of loud like I said um, I'm going to secure the uh, the pump with a, a different way and try to package it a little better maybe minimize some of the vibration and noise and isolate things a little better so that's the next the next portion that is what you will see me taking it apart etc etc so i am going to take this apart i already took out the uh, four screws but i'm starting to put in this screw just so i can pull this there we go well, there's got to be a way to seat this a little better. How warm did that get in there? 
Maybe just a little bit more. I think maybe if it's wrapped a little tighter, maybe too. I'm not really sure. I can handle the electronics part, the putting it back so it's nice and isolated and minimal vibration. That part I'm not so good at, maybe. <laughs> well, it turns out I'm just securing it with this one massive, it's not really a bread tie, but something like that, and then a couple of things of string. That might work. I got string on each end and in the middle there's a it's kind of like a bread tie but it'd be something like you use to like a music store would use to kind of tie their cables together for packaging one of those so There we go, it's a little better, I think. All right, put it back together. See if it makes less noise. I'd like to line up the holes how it was. I think something like that. Try this again. Well, yeah, I'm gonna fat, I'm gonna put it together. Although, let me do a quick preliminary. I do lose the cord already. Here it is. gonna put it together I went in there more at an angle Ooh. I don't like that One more. That one's not. I might be drilling a new hole for that. It's a little harder to get in there. It's all right. Okay. Okay. I think that is better.
I hear lots of air. I still don't see much of a mist. But I don't, do not believe this is clogged. Because I squirted water up through the other side of this glass thing and I could see water coming out. And I soaked it in alcohol, dish soap, all kinds of things. It seems to be working. I can definitely smell it. I'm just, I'm, not, I'm used to seeing when I first got it, there'd be like a straight stream of um, mist coming out of there, oil. Well, just in case I decided to clean this out again, alcohol, one of these handy dandy things like that. I don't know if you can really, you probably can't see it. My hands are in the way. But yeah, it, it appears to be, uh, whoops, coming out of there. Probably no way you've seen that, but you get the idea. The idea. All right, you can kind of see the mist. I had to change my shutter speed as low as I could get it to go. 25, it says. I did notice whenever I put this tip on, sometimes it was leaking out from the side or whatever where I wasn't expecting it to. So I tried to clean that. That's still a little harder to see the mist coming out of there, but sometimes I can. I'm not sure why I'm so intrigued with being able to see the mist. It does smell uh, significantly strong in here. Hey guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Well, I definitely got it working now. It's diffusing. Sorry, I had to add to this video. Because it's really annoying me that this wasn't working the way I wanted it to. But I think I got it now. It was even diffusing more than that a little bit ago. I mean, basically, you would have this on here, right? I can definitely see it's coming out of there, but it's hard to see with my lighting situation. Whether it's it's really hard to dial into that stuff, but it's there for sure. You can see it more when I have this lid off or the whatever that tip thing is. Um, very nice. So I had to clean the micro tubes significantly with some isopropyl alcohol and just hammering right in there. We can kind of hear the air if I just kind of gently block the air a little bit, but I can't really see there. I can tell it's got... Well, the air wasn't really blocked. I just think it was the uh, oil portion of the microtube that was blocked a little bit, perhaps. Because so I'm getting much better results now. And I think it still needs to be cleaned even more. I mean, it was... It is definitely responding better now. <laughs> Anywho, that's my update. Maybe get a different vantage point.
kind of cool. Cool, cool.